okay after a couple of minutes you got this you see no gold anymore we got some just little stubborn gold here but uh, we need uh, that for the just more time so just remove this see that it's only copper no tin anymore tin is a is in a solution like the gold so you can do this the same with these it's copper from the needs but you need to just do the same turn power supply and you see this you see all the black dust on the bottom of the jar of this uh, dish it's uh, all the gold from the last heatsinks heat And you see how the quick everything start green. See that? This is the gold leave copper plating parts. Uh, this process is good because the very safe is not uh, like. Uh, EP method and uh, you just need a little bit little more money you don't need a lot of money for the acid and something else you see that it's very quick uh, for me it's much better if the so all the uh, whole process is uh, take longer but safety and uh, cost uh, less when the it's much better than uh, do some job uh, very quick and uh, cost me a lot of money okay just we will always turn off your power supply and just turn around turn off power supply you see that do the same job you did before you I'm sorry for my hand You'll notice uh, when you put uh, your gold plated parts closer to the ground, you will see that uh, everything is being much faster. Just a little bit shake it, and you see that it's only copper. Stay. All the gold go in the solution, like the black dust. You just need to wait. Uh, my method is uh, not always uh, quick, but uh, you notice that all my video video show you how you can do some gold recovery with a uh, just a little spend money, and uh, 
It's easy to do some gold recovery when you got the money and fancy equipment, but when you not got you don't got a lot of money, it's not always easy. But I try to show you how you can do this with a little expense. Just shake a couple of times and okay, you see that? Now I turn off my phone. When I finish, I will show you how it looks. Okay, or for the next, uh, you can do this the same with the, these pins. Uh, this is the brass pins from the antenna input uh, from the old CRT monitor. So you just need to do the same stuff like you do with the all these. Turn off power supply. Then. Just put them in solution. You see how it's turned dark? That's the gold turn in the black dust and the remove from the pins. You see that? So black, you just shake it with water in solution. See, when it's finished, your uh, brass pins will look the same <laughs> like your gold pins. You see that uh, when it's finished, and uh, it's look actually the same because the brass is just look like gold. It's normal to got some bubbles from the minus wire. And you see that all that gold became the dark and uh, came off from the pins and the pins, uh, brass pins uh, is uh, when you finish, it looks the same like the gold because it's shiny. Okay, I'll back when I finish this. Okay guys, you see that? This is the finish, almost finished pins, brass pins. So, you see the difference? This one is the new one gold plated pins and this one is the old one we're not finished yet because the steel gold that black stuff is a gold and you see the difference its brass is little darker than the gold plated pins this is the gold this is gold off okay so when you finish all the process this is how it look your pentium 2 processor and this is uh, how it look uh, caps your gold your gold is 
in the solution all black stuff black dust on the bottom you see that this is the gold so you only need to do is uh, just filter this solution and do some uh, aqua regia or poor man's aqua regia stuff so you can use uh, acid and bleach method it's okay and uh, okay that is it so i just uh, quick notice uh, the to tell you that uh, you can do this uh, the same process with uh, uh, full plated PVC boards. You need to uh, have full plated boards because the bigger surface in the contact will do much better. Uh, you can do that with the uh, same with the pins, uh, the pins uh, which was uh, copper, copper and uh, brass not uh, nickel or magnetic pins because the magnetic pins always uh, cementate copper from the solution so okay i hope you enjoy this video and we'll be back for the couple days with some new one and this is the video how it's with a little money this salt and uh, vinegar cost uh, maybe a dollar and uh, you can do much with the this size of vinegar and salt you can do much plated stuff so in this uh, video so in this video i show you how you remove your gold plated from the Pentium 4 heatsinks, Pentium 2 processor, brass pins, some brass pins, and uh, you can do this on the full plated PCB boards. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, see you for a couple of days. Goodbye, guys.